Hello! In this video of ArcSight Investigate, we'll highlight some of the visualization capabilities of Investigate. As you can see here, I've already run a search for firewall-related events and have come back with over 450,000 matching events. Really too many events for me to just scroll through a grid and try and gain insights to. So instead I'm going to try and add some visualizations to see if there's some insights I can gather based off firewall traffic. I'm going to click on this plus sign in the visualization bar and choose to add a chart. In this case, I'm going to choose a single or multi-series column bar chart. And adding a visualization in Investigate is as simple as dragging the fields over to the X and Y axis. In this case, I'm going to choose for my X axis the destination port. And then I'm going to choose a destination address for the Y axis. Effectively, what I'm looking to do is highlight how many distinct destination addresses I hit per port. Um, this is showing me right now a count, and I'll need to make some adjustments. So I'll click in this box where it says Count Destination Address, and instead I'll choose Count Distinct. This will give me the number of unique targets I hit per target port. And here I see a lot of SSH traffic in the preview, followed then by some event traffic that has no values, and then port 80 traffic. So I can click Done here, and then I can do, click in this dots here for options, like renaming this chart. So I could click Rename here and say Firewall Traffic Destination Address by Destination Port. And maybe I'll want to remind myself that this is unique. And so there we have our first chart. You do have some options here with the glass graphics library to zoom into the chart and also zoom out of the chart. So you can zoom in further, zoom out. So there's some things that you can play with, especially as this chart has multiple pages to it. I'm going to add another quick visualization to gain some other insights into this firewall traffic. This time I'm going to choose a single or multi-series line chart. So like before, I'm going to choose the fields that I want to just pull over. In this case, I'm going to pull device receipt time into the x-axis. You'll see that by default, it's assigned the day value to this. So this would break out the events per day. I'll need to change that to per hour because I'm only looking at a day's worth of data. I'll double click here and again, go to hour instead. And now I'll have this broken down per hour. And then I want to take a look at the device action. So what did the firewall do? Block the traffic, allow the traffic. And there it's doing a count. So this would effectively give me a count of all the firewall events that have occurred. So I'm going to rename this series to All Firewall Traffic. I'm then going to go and click another and add series. I'm basically going to create yet another chart that overlays here. Notice that it took the same values from the first chart, but I do want to make some adjustments. Instead, I want to filter the device action that I'm looking at. So instead of looking at all actions, when I click here, I'll be presented with the values that were available. I'll unselect them all and choose those for accept, permit, and permitted. Effectively, firewall allows. And perhaps you have multiple firewall vendors in your environment, and so the way it's being captured could be slightly different. And I'll call this firewall accepts. I can do something similar in adding the firewall denies now. So I'll add a series again, and it took the values from the previous, so from firewall accepts. So now all I need to do is make an adjustment here. And in this case, I'm going to choose just those denied, deny, and drop events. These are effectively the firewall blocks. And now I have a third series here. And I'll rename this so that I know what it is when I look at it in my chart. I'll call it firewall blocks. I'll go ahead and accept that name change and then say done. And we see this in the preview. There's a few things you can do here. For instance, you can see the values for each point in time and compare them. You can also click a line and obscure it. So if I click all firewall traffic, I will lose that value. Now obviously given how much the firewall accepts outweigh the blocks, I lose visibility into how many total blocks there were. 
without hovering on a point-by-point -point basis. So I could also hide firewall accepts. And there we see that we do have a high number of denies at around 1 and 2 p.m., but it was significantly lower earlier and later in the day. You can choose to highlight and include these visuals or remove these overlays to gain additional context independent or in comparison to other values. All of this was done against a single search, and these visualizations only took minutes to put together. This is driving some of the value for analysts to quickly realize value and gain insight into what's happening inside of their environment.